Hey guys, welcome to my live stream on YouTube. In this video, I want to sh quickly show you a script that I'm working on. I actually worked on this last night on uh, how I use Python and Google Chrome pretty much to uh, web scrape the Facebook marketplace in order to find cars that are selling uh, with a few criteria. A few other things I want to involve, but this is something quickly. That I put together. So here is the script. I use Jupyter Notebook in order to um, write my Python coding. I'm still new at this, uh, but here it is. Uh, let me see. This, no, roughly about 20 lines of code. Uh, all it's doing is it's going to. Uh, I'll run this. So right now it's going to pull the first. But I'll just adjust this. This is the number of times that it's going to run. I'll just say four. Let's just only pull four cars from the search. And here is the link that I'm going to search. Max price, I, I have it set to 3,000. Well, let's change this to 4,000. Um, max year here, let's change this to 2015. Um, and then under 130,000 miles. So that's basically it. If I hit, uh, Ship enter on my Jupyter Notebook. I'll run the script. It's going to pull my Google Chrome. You see it pulling there. Uh, it's pulling on my separate screen. I'll just drag it over here. Put this here. Thought. And there you see it's already pulling the uh, URL. It's going to go one by one, four times, pull this information and export it into a Excel file, CSV file, that then I'm going to be able to use it, look at it, and determine whether I want to pursue making vehicle uh, purchases. So it should almost be done. There you see it. Um, and the idea is that I want to run this for a number of times, maybe 50 for 50 cars, and then now it's done. Uh, I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go to my directory where I have to save on the documents which I specify. Here's the file that I've just created, the Facebook vehicle search, A29, A34. I'm going to open it up and let's see what happens. So, very cool. So I have four vehicles here that I just extracted. Here's the vehicle name, here's the vehicle's location. Here's the date that it was posted, the price that they're requesting, and how many miles they have, and then the description. Actually, let's put this back. It's going to be a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see if, if got to figure out what is the best formatting for this, but. Might want to do something differently after after we do all this. Might might do a little user form. Probably probably nice. Uh, let's put this all the way in the top. All right. So this is the description. Car is in good condition. Car clean in and out. There's no light on on from the engine and has given me any comment huh, that I have knowledge of cars price based on repairs and needs from deep shampooing. Blah blah blah. So they gives you out. And then I have the link here if I wanted to quickly see it. This on my one out of actually uh, it just shows it to me. So I'm gonna say this is probably gonna open actually no Google Chrome. So that is a vehicle 127 five weeks ago. Oh well that's the other thing that I wanted to really show you guys. I don't I don't the way that Google uh, Facebook shows me um, cars listed gives all these random dates like I don't this car might be still available might not I it hasn't sold in two months so I'm not I might not be as interested or maybe I already communicated with this person in the past again this one right here why is this still showing me this car this is one of the things that I don't like so that's the whole reason why I wanted to do this um, I need to strip out this date information and then I'll be able to sort it and possibly ignore some of these old old vehicles um, or if I already pull next time that I do pull um, 
I don't want to pull this information again because maybe I already action on them. Maybe I did already contact the person. So a few other things that I, I might want to be in my might want to do with this, but the big issue for me every time I was searching was seeing the same vehicles over and over, and they were posted two or three weeks ago. And I was like, oh, okay, is there any way for me to just filter it? So this is the quick way that I think I'm going to uh, that I was able to come up with. Um, emailing to myself there's a few other things that I want to do so I'm gonna be, be building a Python web app and I, that I've been tinkering about with some other software and might have something to show you guys in the, in the next in the next few, few videos so but I just wanted to quickly show you this this is this is what I I don't, I don't like this let's let's run it one more time let's pull a little bit more information let's pull a few more vehicles uh, and see what we get. Where is my, my script? Not Facebook. Not that. Did I close it out? I hope I didn't. I did. Didn't I? Um, all right, let's go over here. Facebook search. What I want. Okay, put that there. And this time, let's let's do, well, let's, let's do fifteen. Let's see what happens. And uh, yeah, this this will start all over again. Let's close this out. Um, let's run this. Hopefully, it's still starting over here. Let me just put that over here. Run that, and then in the meantime, I want to make sure. that I see if we are live it's a good good question if you guys want to know more I put on the description my uh, a link to my website you can message me there and I'll keep you guys updated with the progress make sure you check that this is running a thousand dollars also like all these dealers I don't really want to deal with but so it is running very cool all right I don't know why YouTube makes it so complicated to live stream I was doing it on Facebook live which was working great all right, we're almost approaching the finish line here. Just this a little bit, uh, and then we'll see what we get. We'll see what we get at the very end. 13, 13, 1300 over a week ago. Come on, Facebook, give me over a week ago. I believe we're done. There's no indicator indicator right now that I have to tell me that I'm done, but. Pretty sure I'm done. I'm going to open a 40. That's the time now. Here we are. So 14 starting at zero. That means 15. And these are all the cars currently. I just said 4D for everything. Location, state posted, price. It's one four thousand there. So. As we can see, our parameters work. Let me see, make sure that that, that is the case. Because um, we were saying, yep, 2015. So the oldest car here is a 2015. Under 130,000. Um, yeah, this seems to work. But sometimes people lie. So we might need to do a little bit more. Uh, and then you might want to read the take home with 500 down. So this is down payment. These are the ones that I want to anything that has down payment I pretty much want to avoid. I mean, I'm not gonna It's not really a good deal. So that's why it's one of the other things like all these 1500 here uh, Except for this one, which is 2008. Uh, maybe that's 2009 What it says here? 2009 hybrid new no title for part only so a few things here, like you you could really go through this and see like 
Shoot me an offer and take it, a little mile, 129. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but one thing that we could do somehow, uh, actually, we could separate this. You can, oh, let's see if we could sort this. Yeah, we got 10 minutes running. All right, guys, I'm going to cut it here, but this is what, what it's going to do. If you want to check out more, go to my website, message me. Um, it's on the, on the description. And I'm going to do a few other things, and then I'll probably do another video showcasing a few other features that I was able to do. Uh, but basically, I want to be able to strip out this date for information and, and then filter by it. Like this 2015 uh, was listed 2018. Let me actually take a look at this. What? Why is it still showing up months later? 10 months later. 42 weeks ago. Come on. There's no way that this is a possible listing that should be. Um, one of the other things that I also want to do is if I am interested in one of these vehicles, I would also want to be able to, either from that web application that I was mentioning, is message people directly here, asking them a few other questions that I would like, is a clean title, Do you are you willing to negotiate, and can you provide the VIN number? Sometimes you do have the VIN number here, but, but these are the ones, like I, I really want to ignore these, everything. So I'm going to be making a Excel macro, I'm then is going to either strip this, column here break this out by date and then sort it and then take out anything that is probably a week or two weeks old and start creating a database for that so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions if you have Excel VBA questions feel free to message me again you could contact me on my website all right guys take care